Welcome back, everybody. We've made it to Friday. Well done. It's August 18th, 2023. Born on this date in 1958, actor Reg E. Cathy of Montgomery. Now, today, we'll talk about Dog the Bounty Hunter's son on the job in DeKalb County, UAB's work with pig organs, and Hugh Freeze's take on the blindside drama. I'm Mike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. It didn't take outer police officer Gary Chapman long to see the difference you can make in public service, even in small town Alabama. Chapman graduated earlier this month from the Northeast Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. His dad, Dwayne Chapman, who everybody knows as TV's Dog the Bounty Hunter, was in the state for that event. Now, on Gary Chapman's first day on the force this week, he made a traffic stop, reports AL.com's William Thornton. During the stop, Officer Chapman found a boy in the car who had been reported missing more than a week ago in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The boy was returned, and the woman driving the car was charged with interference with child custody. She also has a past charge of chemical endangerment of a child, according to police. Otter Police Chief Stephen Malone, quote, being able to make the call to this boy's guardian, letting them know he's safe and on his way home, is one of the most rewarding parts of this job. A Montgomery County Circuit Court judge did place a temporary hold on licensing of businesses by the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission as some companies plead their cases over being denied a license, reports AL.com's Mike Kaysen. Judge James Anderson acknowledged that the legislature has authorized the production, sale, and use of medical marijuana and that licensing issues have slowed down the process of making this thing happen. He scheduled a hearing on the issue for August 28th. Newly published research shows that a modified pig kidney worked for a seven-day study at UAB, reports AL.com's Amy Yerkinen. At the same time, a hospital in New York announced that it had transplanted a pig kidney that worked for longer than a month. Clinical trials haven't begun for pig organ transplants. This particular UAB patient had been declared brain dead and had a history of kidney disease. The kidney was able to produce urine and remove some waste. With 14,000 Alabamians on dialysis and donated organs often in short supply, this is work that could change a lot of lives in the state. UAB has now performed three pig kidney transplants. Now, however any legal stories may unfold in this The Blind Side saga, with former NFL player Michael Orr and the Tui family that took him in while he was in high school, Auburn's new football coach can certainly share a unique personal perspective. You probably know the story. Orr filed a petition in a Tennessee probate court claiming that Sean and Leanne Tui tricked him into signing into a conservatorship 19 years ago and that they made millions off of their story, made famous in the Sandra Bullock film The Blind Side, which seems unlikely to spawn a sequel at this point. Sean Tui has said that's not the case, and a lawyer for the family has said Orr tried to get millions from the family before making the filing. Current Auburn University head football coach Hugh Freeze was the coach at Briarcrest Christian School in Tennessee during Orr's time there. AL.com's Ainsley Lee reports that Freeze spoke about the story at a press conference on the plane. Quote, I love Michael Orr. He's like part of our family. And I love the Tuies. I think it's sad. I certainly don't claim to understand all the ins and outs of adoption, conservatory, all of that. But I know what I have witnessed and I witnessed a family that totally took in a young man, and I think without that, there is no story. Thank y'all so much for listening. We're going to be back here on Monday. Until then, y'all come by and see us anytime you want to on the internet at AL.com.